do you do for a living? I'm a nurse practitioner. So this makes sense to you? Yes. This medical angle, right? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I'm from Berryville, Arkansas. My bite, my teeth don't hit at the same place any one time. Yeah. And when I'm chewing, it's much different than when I just close my mouth, my teeth. Mm -hmm. And because of all the dental work that I've had and orthodontia in the last 20 years, 25 years, um, my teeth have moved to the point now that my bottom teeth are hitting my top front teeth. And these are caps. Yeah. And uh, I was wrestling one time. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you wound up with the frowns in the first place, huh? That's exactly right. <laughs> and uh, so, anyway, this tooth has popped off now because these bottom teeth are just hitting it too hard. And my back teeth don't seem to touch, and my front teeth are touching too hard, and I have an area back here I want two implants, and this needs, the bite needs to be taken care of before I can do the implants. So that's why I'm here, because yeah. I've heard Dr. Nick is wonderful, so, and so far, so good. Basically, it sounds like a bite problem, right? Yes. And big, it kind of drives you wonky? Big time, Yeah. yes. So we ran you through screening, the neural occlusion screening, where we did the MRIs, the CTs, and all those metrics. Mm -hmm. What did you think of that? Did that make sense to you? Yes, perfect sense, and it, it was very impressive. Uh, I've often wondered if mm, part of my problem was my joints, Yeah. and it answered our question. It's yeah. not. It's not my problem. So, it's not your primary problem. Well, it's not, yeah. Yeah, you have... My disc is off. Yes. It's moved, but... Which probably does affect it, but... And you also remember you had an osteochondral growth defect. Yes. In other words, you didn't grow all the way. You were damaged when you were a child. Right. So you've been living with that, and then nature adapts us usually. Right. So, yeah, that's not your primary issue. Right. But the reason for it, the primary reason for all that screening, especially of the joint part, is to make sure that uh, the joints aren't breaking down. Right. Because if we try to chase your bite with an orthopedically unstable set of joints, and that's a fool's errand. Chasing is the right word. Yeah, we'd, we'd be chasing the tail and we'd never get there. Right. Yeah, so you have relatively stable and adapted TMJs, which is great. Um, so today you come in and we're going we're gonna to attempt to balance your bite using the computerized metrics. Right. We're going to very, very carefully balance things out and hopefully you're going to see improvement. Another thing of note, uh, on your screening we found that your C-spine yes. was off. Yes which a lot of times the upper cervical spine will be one of the reasons people have quote-unquote TMJ problems. Yeah. Well, I yeah. do have a, I, would, I wouldn't say I have a problem with my neck, but what we saw yesterday would explain the occasional discomfort or whatever that I do have. Sure. And probably the occasional headache is maybe comes from all that. So, you know, your joints aren't perfect, but they're not terrible. Right. And then here you swallowed. What happens then? When you swallow, the, dig the digastrics are supposed to work, and there are, just a little bit, and you're, these guys are supposed to shut down, but the right master didn't really shut down. That's a little bit weird. So it's not like you've got this perfect system, but it's not a terrible one. Compared to most people, we see this is not bad at all. Okay. Um, and then here, yeah, see, it's always right temple. Yeah, it's exactly how it was last time. Yep. So this is going to be very interesting because when we have you back to check you, we're going to be looking at this data to see if it changed. Mm -hmm. So it won't be just how you feel. You may walk in saying, I feel okay, I feel a little bit better, I don't feel, I feel the same or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do this and I'll see a change. I'll be like, well, just give it some time. Right. It's going to work its way. It should work its way out, right? So that's the whole point of the metrics, right? Very good. Yeah. So the EMG will, that's kind of telling. Hard, 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 hard. Now break and open. Beautiful. Come hard. One, two, three, break and open. Excellent. Kind of a mess on the right side, but that's not too bad. See all that old that dental work in there? Uh -huh. It's unmeasured. Yeah. In other uh -huh. words, you know when they dropped it in, all they used was the sink ribbon. Uh huh. This crap, right? I know. Yes. Think analog. So now we've got our digital eye on it. All right, back home. Open. It 
I mean, it's actually, that's a home. You it's got a home. better home now, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And it stays. People can't feel what the computers will show us. Right. I'm, that's, I'm sitting there going, yeah. okay, I'm really going to trust him now because yep. it just, yep. and then there it is. Yeah. Like a lot of people, I'll tell them, I, I don't want to know how you feel. Right. Right. They'll travel from Europe. Right. And they look at me like, what? And I'm like, look. And I said, you've seen my videos, right? And they're like, yeah. I said, some people, it doesn't happen like that. Some people, you got to give it a month or two. Right. You know, a lot of people it does, but everyone's different. And some people don't respond to it because we don't know exactly what's in that beaker. Right. If a lot of it's bite, man, this nails it. Right. You know? But you got to vet the joints. Right. So that's why we screen. And that's why we have all these records on the muscle and the kinesiology of it all and how uh -huh. things are moving. And then we'll have a baseline by which to compare. Well, when I actually eat a meal and chew, that's yeah. going to help me a lot. Yeah, then, oh, after yeah you'll, time. Know. you'll know. You'll oh, know. Oh, remember silent periods and all that stuff? Silent periods? You know what a silent period is? No. Like an EMG? An EMG, when the muscle's first recruited, uh -huh. it'll start firing, and then all of a sudden the CNS, it'll back off for like milliseconds. Uh -huh. and then it'll go all the way. Oh. It's like you step on the gas, you lay off, and then you roll floor it. And that's the silent period. Well, so silent periods are typically longer with people that have somatic nathic TMD issues, whatever you want to call it. Right. Okay, like let's say a bite issue or a joint issue. Because CNS presses, lets off a long time because he's like not sure, and then he goes, but he kind of half-asses it. Right. Whereas someone that has really nice, perfect health, they press on, off, on, bam, they, bam, the silent periods will show up, they're real short. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's the sign, and we'll be able to track that. Okay. We can see that in the old EMG data versus the new, too. Okay. That's just one of the many things we look for. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's really, I mean, you can't see that. It happens in like a thousandth of a second. Right. Or ten thousandths or six right? thousandths. It depends on the length, yeah. Right. All right, so one, two. This time I want you to go left. Left. Okay. Right. Yeah, more relaxed, maybe. Yeah, there's the famous word. If you yeah. watch my videos, almost everyone says relaxed. Relaxed. Yeah. I, I, can, I can feel that it's... It's almost, I can feel like it's going to even relax more, yes. kind of thing. Yeah. I, I just. Like an endorphin rush almost, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. I have a home and everything knows where it's supposed to be and it's yeah. going to be. <laughs> no, yeah. it has a home and it knows where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Whereas before we did this, it, it was all. Right. It wonky, just, oh right? my gosh. Yeah. Yep. I get you.